Well, hello and welcome back. Today we're just going to be doing four problems together. Um, the first three are pretty short. Uh, and we're just at this point um, plotting each point that's given, each ordered pair, and then um, connecting these points to form a line segment and then figuring the length of the line segment. All right, so... Um, for the first one in 22, we have C, negative, uh, negative 2, and 4. So the first number in any ordered pair is always the X uh, coordinate, and the second number is always the Y coordinate, right? So um, we're going to negative 2 and then up to 4. So this is C. And D is 6, 4. So that's located here, All right? And now we're going to attach these with a line. Um, and we're asked to find, well, what is the length of this line? Well, you see that this line goes over the y-axis. And so we have to use absolute value and add the absolute values to figure out how long it is, right? So um, the absolute value of negative 2 plus the absolute um, value of 6, okay, um, that would equal 8 units. And if we change, let me just change my color here, and I'll show you the hops so that you can see this. See, we have two here on the um, left side of the y-axis, and then we have another six. So all together, eight units, uh, two plus six being eight. Um, and remember, negative or positive shows you what distance from the origin these points are, right? So you can use that to your advantage as you're adding them together. All right, well, let's try another one. We'll go for 24. Um, G is negative 5, negative 4. So you can tell since these are both negative over here, both of these ordered pairs here are negative, that this is going to be in quadrant 3, right? Um, just like when they're both positive, we could tell that it was going to be in quadrant 1 up here for D. Um, so uh, quadrants 1 and 3 are very easy to tell where the point lies based on whether the point, uh, both of pieces of the ordered pair or both coordinates are positive or negative. But in the case of G, you see they're both negative. So we're going over to uh, 5 on the x-axis and a negative 5 and down to negative 4 on the y-axis. So that um, point for G is going to be right there. Okay, this is G. And um, the point for H is at 2. That's a positive 2 on the x-axis and negative 4 on the y-axis. So that's right here. Okay, and that's point H. I just connected them as I was asked to do, and now I've got to figure out um, what is the length of this line segment. Well, the absolute value of negative 5 plus the absolute value of 2 will give me 7. Seven units, and you see, let me go ahead and change again and I'll show you the hops. Why is this not working? All right, I'll change this to green, and you can see the hops over here. One, two, three, four, five gets me to the y-axis, and two more get me over to H, all right? So that's seven units in all. Um, so for the last one here, we have M and N, and you notice that I've got um, a 5, 2 there, which means that it's going to be in quadrant 1 because they're both positive. I go over to 5 and up to 2. This is M. And for point M, I'm at um, 5, negative 5. So um, that's going to be over at, starting at 5 on X and down to negative 5. That's this one right here. 
So this is my first vertical line that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in between it. But you see here again, I'm crossing an axis. In this case, I'm crossing the x-axis. So I have, um, I'm adding the y-coordinates. They're the ones that are changing. You, you notice that I'm adding the coordinates in each case that are the ones that are changing, okay? Um, so if, in, in the case of 22 and 24, the Y coordinates stay the same, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, and in the case of 26, the X coordinate is staying the same, so I'm adding the one that's changing. Uh, and that's the absolute value of two plus the absolute value of negative five. Okay, and that two is going to be seven units. My pen isn't working. All right, so we'll just call that good. All right, let me go ahead and change my um, my color again one last time. I'll change it back to pink and um, go ahead and do uh, this. We have, we're going down two to the x-axis and then um, we are descending another five and two and five of the core seven. All right, so that checks out as well. Now what happens if you have um, your line, let's say we have a line up here that goes from um, negative 10, 11 to negative six, 11, all right? And let's call this um, uh, K, point K, and point L um, right here, all right? So those, um, let's see, K, those coordinate points are um, negative 10, 11, and um, then L, I'm gonna put it right underneath it, was negative six eleven. Well, if it's in the same quadrant and it does not cross an axis, you just subtract absolute values. All right. So we have negative ten as the one of the one the coordinate that's changing. In this case, it's the x coordinate that's changing. So the absolute value of negative ten minus um, the absolute value of negative 6, right, which is 10 minus 6 is 4. So the length of line segment KL is 4 units. Um, yeah, and that's how you figure how long a line segment is when you're given one on the coordinate plane. Well, that's all I have for you on this one. We'll talk to you later.